Hey, Aquarium fans. Um, I ran a little, decided to run a curiosity test. It's not very scientific, and it's just more or less a, um, hmm, I wonder what would happen here. So, silicone, glass to glass. We all know glass to glass seals pretty well. Not much issues there. But glass to acrylic seems to be a high topic and what silicone to use and whatnot. So, just between the properties of silicone, the, the whole fact of glass to acrylic is irrelevant. It's whether or not it just sticks to the acrylic. It's going to stick to the glass. It's just whether or not it will also stick to the acrylic. So what I did here is I ran three beads of silicone from three different types of silicone. The one that everybody recommends is the blue canister on the left here, which is GE Silicone 2 for um, window door attic and basement. And then I have a middle bead, which is this GE 100% silicone sealant. It was with the acrylic. Um, if you go to a hardware store, you, you find this stuff next to the acrylic. So whether or not it's just a marketing scheme or not, it is sold next to the acrylic, specifically to bond acrylic and other plastic sheets and whatnot. Um, so we have GE 100% silicone sealant for plastic sheets and other plastics. Then we have GE Silicone 2 uh, Kitchen Bath and Plumbing. So from what I've used so far, the GE Silicone 2 Kitchen Bath and Plumbing seems to be worthless. Like I literally can't see why you would use it for anything. Um, be that it's supposed to bond additional things? No, it's not. The GE Silicone 2 for window, door, attic, and basement bonds this one will bond everything this one will, yet this one bonds it stronger and is the exact same price. So I cannot, I, I have no idea why anybody would want to use this. Uh, I really don't. Matter of fact, I was in Home Depot and talking to a guy about silicone and he was giving me all this information and um, I walked away and my parents came up and started talking to him about silicone I had not go to Home Depot with my folks and uh, I had no idea they were doing this project using silicone so they happen to be talking to him too I come back and he's got them about to buy one of these you know and you know, given a bunch of other good information and I butted in and said that uh, that's pretty sweet but I would definitely get this one over this one you know because this is basically shit uh, this works amazing and I completely and utterly offended the Home Depot guy literally said to me well there you have it and turned around and walked away all pissed off my mom giggled and said oh son you hurt his feelings but uh, yeah I mean I'm sure that people buy this stuff and then in a year or two when it cracks and chips and does all of its other bull crap that it would for a kitchen bath plumbing scenario they don't run back to Home Depot and say, oh, by the way, two years ago I bought this and it was crap. They probably don't even remember that they did buy this in the first place and then just go back again and buy another kitchen, bath, and plumbing because that's what's labeled. Um, for those of us in the aquarium world, you know, people make these $10,000 saltwater tanks and do this, that, and the other to them, or they're just these really expensive tanks, really elaborate systems, and if they break or fail, and flood a house or do this that and the other it is immediate as to what product you know they want to know what product failed so they never use it again um, so that's kind of uh, you know I actually feel that you know the aquarium goers are kind of the experts when it comes to this because um, if it'll stick aquarium together and deal with hundreds of pounds of pressure you know it'll last a very long time in uh, any other scenario you know, salt water, thousands of gallons of water, yeah, or thousands of pounds of water, I should say, not gallons. Um, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna hold a tile or two together too. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna unscientifically just poke and prod at the silicone here. Um, let me try and do this without a glare as much as possible. Okay, I'm not going to get away from a glare, I don't think. Alright. 
So three beads, Dr. Kulik. The first one is basically what's raved about is the best. The middle one is one I've never heard about. Um, just decided to try it. And the third one is kitchen, bath, and plumbing, which I have known as sucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thumb, go to like the big bead here on the kitchen, bath, and plumbing, and just see if I can just flick it off. Okay. So... Yeah, that pulled off with little, like zero effort. I just rubbed it a little bit, and when I flop it down, the static cling is just feels about as strong as it was. Holy crap! Yeah, that is absolute shit. Okay, well let's see the next one. Do a couple flicks. Okay, so that's harder. So now I'm gonna push. I'm gonna dig into it. Okay, now I'm really prying. Alright. I can't... <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. And it broke, okay? And it broke. Oh. Okay, that stuff stuck like JB Weld. Um, ouch, my finger actually hurts. Okay, now the GE Silicone 2 window door and attic. We'll do the, go back to the thumb. Flick, flick, flick. Holy crap, that came right off too. Okay, guys. Um, wow. I, I am, okay, I gotta put my back into this. Okay. Holy balls. <clears throat> okay. Just so you know how much stress I'm putting on, watch the watch the blood leave the tip of my fingers here. <clears throat> oh, that's on there. Okay. Um well ladies and gentlemen. We have a clear winner by a mile. These are just beads of silicone that I put on here. Just straight up beads. So, yeah. Holy moly. You know what? I actually screwed up this video a little bit. I wanted to show something about the bottom of these. When you flipped them over. I can't redo it now, but um, you guys will get the picture. They're just a Okay, so when I placed this bead, I didn't use any pressure whatsoever. I, I, I did that with all these. What I was going to point out, well you can kind of see it, is... Alright, can you guys see those little light glares and whatnot? See those bubbles? Look at the one on the right. Look how many bubbles are in the silicone bead. The one on the right is the shit silicone, the kitchen, bath, and plumbing. Look at all those bubbles. That's horrendous. Wow, that is just terrible. The one on the left is the door, window, and attic, basement stuff. There's not really any bubbles there. There's a couple at the top and the bottom where the, uh, probably where the, where the bead wasn't a consistent pull. But look at the silicone. Look at, look at all those bubbles. Those are gaps, guys. That is, that, that is stuff that happens when it dries that's less surface area, that's less product. Anyway, yeah, so a fun little video. Um, I was actually surprised that the GE2 basement did as poorly, 
did as poorly as it as it uh, performed as poorly as it did. Um, so guys, we I mean I'm shocked. I will I will forever use this product. This is a really this was really informational for myself. We have a clear winner. Um, that peeled right off like basically a sneeze. <clears throat> this came off with little effort and I have to scrape that off if I want to get it off. It was my thumb still hurts. Um, thumb and finger still hurt from trying to pinch and grab. So yeah, uh, this is definitely properly labeled for plastics and for plastic sheets and other plastics. GE 100% silicone sealant. Now mind you, all these stick really well to glass. So here we go. We have a product that will bond this shit to glass and do it very, very powerfully. Um, man, guys, I hope that was informative. It was sure as hell was informative to me. Um, hell, spread this video around. If people start asking about what silicone to use, link them to this. Um, yeah, I don't give a shit about the views, but this this was uh, this was pretty informative to me. So man, hopefully, you guys, hopefully this benefits more than just uh, just a handful of people. All right, man. Take it easy, everybody. And uh, got any questions? Just comment away. Bye.